In the last video, we cracked open the Fixture Effects folder and got our first taste of Venue Magic Lighting Control. Venue Magic has three general types of fixture effects. The first type is the built in effects. Each of these folders is a collection of ready to use effects like lightning, candlelight, fades, waves, flashes, explosions, and many others. There are also special fixture effects that know how to take advantage of moving head fixtures or the color channels of an RGB fixture. In this video, we'll see how to do more with these effects. First, Let's add more light fixtures. Go into the Add Fixtures window and drag on a generic 4-channel dimmer. Then add a new control track and drop our new fixture into it. We're also going to drop the fixture into the Lamp Preview window so we can see it working. I'm also going to mute the thunder and lightning tracks from the last video, so things don't get confusing. Technically, you cannot mute a control track, but you can click this button, which prevents this track from controlling anything during playback. Now let's pick another lamp effect and drag it onto our new control track. This one is called Fireworks. Conveniently, there's also a sound effect called Fireworks. So let's add another audio track, and drag the fireworks sound into it. Right below the fireworks fixture effect. Size the fixture effect to match the audio clip. Click play and you have an instant fireworks display. Notice how the fireworks fixture effect automatically attached itself to the four channels it found in the control track and that each is controlled independently with its own set of random firework effects. Just for the fun of it, let's add some color to our preview lamps. Double click on a lamp and change the color. We'll do this for all four lights. Now, double click on the fireworks fixture effect and click on the settings tab. This window allows us to modify the behavior of each light the effect controls. In this section, you can select the channel or lamp you want to adjust. Ignore the global settings for now. In this section, you select what type or variation of the effect you want to run on the selected channel. For the fireworks, there is only one type. Other effects may have two or more or you can select None, in which case the channel will do nothing. In this section, there are a list of parameters for each channel. Every lamp effect will have its own set of parameters. To learn more about what the parameters mean, click on Fixture Effect Help. What I want to do is increase the frequency of the flashes so that I get more fireworks. This must be done one channel at a time. Click on the parameter you want to change, then move the slider to adjust it. You can also enter a setting directly. We'll do that for each channel. These other settings will be explained in future videos. As always, you can look ahead by clicking Help. The global settings parameters are applied to all of the channels together. In this case, there's only one, the master level, which we'll leave alone. As you can see, our fireworks are going faster now. Double click on the lightning effect from our previous video and you will see it has the same settings window, only the channels, type, and parameters are different. In fact, all of the built-in lamp effects are that way.
Each effect will show a different set of parameters and a different help window when you click on Fixture Effects Help. Now, let's unmute our Lightning and Thunder tracks and move their clips forward in time a little. Now we have a fireworks display in the middle of a lightning storm. Just for fun, on your own, try adding more thunder and lightning strikes using different thunder sounds. The lightning effect is random, so you'll get a different pattern of flashing every time it plays.